everybody, Amy Broderick here with another Miracles and Wonders interview. And I'm excited today to um, highlight some of the miracles that are happening with King John Smarty, with the Smarty Method, with the healing tools, the healing thread with the Jedis, all the good stuff. And so I've invited on to today's show, uh, Patrice Marie, say hello. Hi, everybody. Nice to meet y'all. And uh, yeah, so we're excited to just um, dive in a little bit with you, Patrice, and to maybe a little about where you're from, your background, and um, how you met Smarty. Oh, okay, great. Uh, I'd be happy to share that. It's always an interesting journey, right, to finding Smarty. <laughs> but um, well, uh, let's go back about 15 years ago. I was in the healthcare industry, and I was starting to see not as a clinician or anything, I'm, I'm a sales and marketing person. And I was just really starting to see how the solutions that are put out in the medical world are not really solutions, they're kind of like band-aids that aren't really healing people, right? And so that was kind of part of, of my journey into becoming an energy healer and to helping people kind of break out of the mindset of, well, whatever the doctor says must be true. And I also am a, a quantum mindset coach. So I, uh, so I study quantum physics quite in depth. And so I know from that, that we create our own reality. And some of the doctors I mean, they know about the placebo effect and there's an, there's something else called the nocebo effect, right? If the doctor tells you you got something, guess what happens? Your mind creates that in your body. So when I started learning all this, I was like, I, I really wanted to be an energy healer. And I had found somebody on YouTube and he was really good. And, you know, he charged like $3,000 for like phase one of his training. And I was like, man, I got to manifest that because I really want to help people. And I really feel like this guy has it going on, right? <laughs> not, this is not smarty. Right. And so anyway, um, so how, how do I answer that question? How did I find smarty? Well, the short answer is he was on a podcast that was done by Mel Carmine, who is in the XRP XLM uh, quantum financial system realm. Okay. And he has a pretty popular podcast and I really resonated with Mel. He's, uh, he's like a New York, New Jersey boy. I'm a Jersey girl, uh, just his accent and everything. I just really, he shoots from the hip like I do. So I listened to a lot of his podcasts and one day he had Smarty on. And Smarty was talking about frequencies and my ears perked up because I'm all about frequency. You know, Nikola Tesla said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, you have to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. I just got goosebumps saying that. Yeah. So, so I knew that frequencies were a thing and he's talking about frequencies like nobody else I had ever really hear talk about them. So I was just like all over his website and his YouTube channel and his free holograms that, you know, he was talking about on that podcast that you could go to his website and download these free holograms, which are really photographs that have frequencies within them. Right. So I was like, oh, how cool. Like, you know, it's just on a, in a photograph, he puts the frequencies in a photograph. So so that's how I found him. And that was just about um, a year ago. And as so and then I found out that he has like free Jedi training to learn how to do energy healing. I was like, oh, OK. The other thing I want to mention, and you and I were chatting, Amy, before uh, you started recording that you offer your services to humanity, right? That you don't charge for, you know, your healing services. And I was already doing that with my coaching, uh, my, my coaching services and the quantum physics teacher that I follow, she calls that energy philanthropy. 
-hmm. And so what happens is you're, you're putting um, those frequencies out into the quantum field and they're accumulating. So it's kind of like karma, right? But it, you know, in a good way. So these frequencies of doing things and not charging and not attaching it to the monetary system comes back to you in the form of uh, not a monetary thing. So what I'm trying to say is I found Smarties uh, healing, Jedi training, healing training, and it was free. So I went from wondering how I was going to manifest three grand to do that other guy's training and all the while serving humanity without charging them in my coaching. And then I get the free training from Smarty. And as those of us that know Smarty know, he's the Mac daddy of all healers and all training of healers, right? Exactly. And can, so, we, just say, can we just say for a minute, because this is an important point, you know, yep. he does so much of what he does for free. And yes. Can text him and ask for a healing. They can text this Jedi thread and ask us for a healing. And we do it every day, 24 seven without fail. And, and it's like, there's no other person on the planet that's doing that. And everyone else is out there to make a buck and charging big, big amounts of money to put people through programs and do all of that. And, and the training and the energy work isn't even as effective as what this is. And so um, that's a red flag right there for people that are getting into so much of that when, when there are things available. And we are at a point in humanity right now when it's all about, let's take care of the people. And we got ourselves in trouble on this planet, making it all about the big buck. And so, you know, it's just a good, good thing to mention here. Um, yes, we do charge mm -hmm. for some tools. They cost money. Um, the tools do, but, but he's done it. Smarty has sales and tries to do a really good job of keeping things really affordable for people. So, um, and he still has to make a living right now. So, um, but anyway, yeah, you can certainly become an energy healer here, just following through his, um, threads without um, spending money. So it's good. And what you said about being tied to the monetary system, like God, source, the universe, wh whoever you identify with, right? Uh, instructed me just about a year ago, detach from the money system because it's, it's enslavement. And it's also uh, like Marina says, it's an illusion. Like it's not even real. Okay. And so I, I like did that. And, you know, I was fortunate enough where I had um, the ability to still pay my bills and fast forward a, a year from now, uh, in addition to getting heal up, uh, getting trained in energy healing for free, I, I landed like a really great job recently, right? That I was, it like literally landed in my lap. So when you serve from your heart, and that ends up getting accumulated into the quantum field, it will come back to you. Whether you want to call it God, you can't outgive God. I've heard people say it that way. So um, yeah, so so that's how I found Smarty. And uh, as I continue to follow him, I realized that he was like the culmination of like everything in my spiritual journey. And I, I jotted down a few things because it was when I realized this, I was like, how could one person embody all these things that I'm into? Okay. So he's into the frequencies. I mentioned that he's into quantum physics. He understands what I just said about the placebo and the nocebo. And, you know, I don't, I don't know too many people that talk about the medical profession like that. Right. Um, he's, he's a galactic being, right? So uh, as I got further along on my spiritual journey, I got all in, I never thought I would be into ETs or anything like that, but that's been a big part of my spiritual journey. And so, you know, he's, he's got a, galact a galactic identity, like I know I do too. Um, he's into the revaluation of the currency. I've had um, currency that I've been waiting to exchange since 2016, you know, before 
way before I ever met him. And I know there's people been holding it for longer. So he was into the currency exchange. He was into the XRP and the XLM, which for those of you that don't know, they're pretty much, I mean, with, with a few exceptions, they're like the only um, cryptocurrency that is going to be part of the quant quantum financial system, which is another piece that I got into when I was following Marina. So I was all into the quantum financial system, which is powered by source and, and then the healing right? Because I knew that I wanted to help people by healing. And so, and the one piece that, that we didn't mention that I, I will mention is the Jesus piece, because I followed Jesus as a Christian for like 35, 40 years, something like that. I went to Bible college and I had like a real dark night of the soul crisis in my faith. I'm like, I don't even know if he ever even existed. I left a little tiny crack in the window open of a possibility that Jesus even existed. I mean, that's how skeptical I was. And uh, for those of us that follow Smarty and, and know uh, who he is in, in his total essence, he's like the culmination of that Jesus journey for me as well. So I was just blown away by who he is and how he embodies all of the things that had to do with my spiritual journey and, you know, my spiritual path on earth. Awesome. Crazy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I mean, they don't call him the miracle man for nothing. You know, he's, he's performing a lot of miracles, very, very much privately. And I know one day soon I'll have him on and he'll, he'll share maybe some more of those early day miracles and all the ways he survived um, miraculous circumstances too, because there's a bunch of stories just about his own life um, that are really interesting. So he's super busy right now, but we'll have that <laughs> at, on some other date. Um, right That'd be now, awesome. Right now we're sharing the ones that we're all aware of. And so, and I know you've had, you're, you've been, rolled up your sleeves and you're out there in the field and you're making shit happen. So why I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to hear, I want to hear. So share with okay. us. Okay. So uh, the one healing I want to share with you uh, is my brother uh, Vince and he was healed of uh, lung cancer, which if you know anything about lung cancer, it's usually got a pretty bleak uh, prognosis. Right. And I know uh, quite a bit about it because my dad and my other brother both died of lung cancer. So it was not fun when we got that diagnosis of Vince's, right? And so I asked him, I said, I'd like to send you healing energy. And he was like really open to it. He said, yeah, I'll take whatever you, you want to send me, you know? So, uh, so at the time, I don't think I had any other than um, like well, this is not the one I had. This is a newer one, but I had one of Smarty's charms that I was using as a pendulum to get yes and no answers from source, from daddy on, uh, can I, number one, can I heal him? Can we zone in on the, thank you. That's kind of like the one that looked like that I was using at the time. Can I heal him? Can we zone in on what it is that's ailing him if it's cancer or whatever? And then so you make an energy ball with your hand and you envision the energy, um, you know, collecting in your hand. And then when you're ready, you kind of, you kind of throw it at the person in your mind and you're hitting the area of the body that you want to hit. And so I did that. And then you check with the pendulum. Uh, did I heal him? And I got a yes. And then about, um, I want to say about a month afterward, he, he went through all kinds of hell with treatment and stuff. I don't know how the poor guy made it through, but he did. And so about a month later, they had done some kind of scan and the doctor said they were surprised and they said, wow, there's just a shadow where the tumor used to be. And all we see is evidence of healing tissue. <laughs> and I said, I'm claiming that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. Because uh, if you know anything about 
uh, chemotherapy and radiation, it does not heal people. Right. And yeah. sometimes it does more harm than good. Well, and it can very much depress the immune system, um, just like you know what it's been doing to people all over the planet right now. So it's, um, yeah, uh, what you're able to do can boost someone back, get their immune system strong again so that they can fight off all these infections and crap that's out there. <laughs> And then the other problem that can sometimes happen, Amy, I don't know if this has happened to you in your healing practice, but I will get information that the person was healed, but the doctors don't tell the truth. Yes, that happens a lot. Um, happens a lot. And then the person thinks they still have it because they're hinging every belief on every word that the doctor says. And the doctors are not your friend, you know? No, they're out to make money. They're out to, um, you know. Surgery is money. Yeah, treatment cancer, is money. It, cancer is an expensive diagnosis. I had two parents that I've lost to cancer and one of them had um, uh, liver cancer and the other one had uh, bladder, prostate and brain cancer. And I think my mom's bill with the liver cancer alone and she was only sick for five months before she passed. Um, was over half a million dollars. So it's, it's business, big business. business to keep people ill. Um, and more recently, there's been a lot of people just going and getting their scans, their mammograms, their whatever, coming out with these stage one pro uh, prognosis, and they get put through everything just as if they had a stage four, just as expensive. And honestly, we've checked a lot of them and they don't have cancer. So, you know, so it, that's an important um, thing that you're mentioning because it's a racket and it's out. It's there. a rat. It's a racket. You sound just like me. I always say that it's a racket and, uh, and people are creating the symptoms because of how uh, reality works. That if you think you have something and you should have pain from it or whatever you looked up on Google, I always tell people, don't go to Google. Don't. Don't find out what you're supposed to be feeling because you're giving your power away, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. So um, doctor's diagnoses, uh, if I'm saying that plural correctly, diagnoses, they are um, part of the creative process of creating disease in your body. Yeah, and they're, and, tra they're trained to find things wrong with you rather than, you know, you know, you just accepting, you know, um, healing and receiving the good that can come. They're, from yeah. They're not in the business of healing. And, you know, when I was on some of Smarty's lives and he would talk about, you know, what we're talking about right now, I was like, man, I don't know anyone else other than me that talks like that, you know, that, that calls out the medical profession like that. Well, so, we are in the business of healing and that's why we're, we're having that conversation. And yeah, that's going to probably be a, a shocker to some people watching this, but Hey, it's time, you know, and, uh, and we, you know, we have, divi we're divinely protected because this type of smack talking is not, uh, is not taken well from the negative forces in the spirit realms that want to see you dead, that want to see you sick, that want to see you suffer, that want to see you in a low vibration. We're not popular people to them because we are calling out the truth and we're empowering you and we're telling you that you can be healed. Right. Yeah. And yeah, there is a time and a place. I mean, I have a buddy who just had a car accident and he does need doctors and he does need people piecing his body back together right now. Yeah, like the acute type surgery needs or things like that. Yeah. There's a lot of other places where, um, you know, everything frequency based is amazing and it's so non invasive that the healing can happen really quickly. So, um, yeah, it's good. So, yes. what else? What okay. Else so, um, then as I uh, continued to follow Smarty, I started uh, getting some of his, he calls these medical wands. Now that's a bold statement in and of itself, right? Because we're already calling out the medical profession saying that we can do what you claim to be able to do better with this. 
And this is powered by source, right? By we call him daddy. So it's powered by source. And so you're getting healing directly from God when we are using this. So this one is called the Gen L2. And remind me uh, a little bit later to tell you why I leave this in the car, because lately I've been leaving it in the car and I use it for a specific purpose. Yeah. But my friend's uh, husband was exhibiting like weird behavior, like he was just not being himself. And I was pretty new to them as a friend. And even I, not even knowing him that well, saw like a drastic change, like in his personality. And she had said to me on the phone, she goes, something's really wrong with him. And she was telling me some of the things he was doing that just really wasn't like him. And then when I got over there, I said, I see exactly what you're talking about. So I told her on the phone, I said, I'm going to come over. I said, invite me over for dinner. And after dinner, when he's sitting in his chair, I'll be sitting at the table still and I'll hit him with my wand. And she said, okay, so that was the plan. We weren't going to tell him that we were hitting him, right? <laughs> and then in the meantime, I asked, uh, and a lot of times when I use the pendulum to get confirmation from source, from daddy, um, I'm really checking my own intuition, right? Mm -hmm. So I had an intuition that he had a negative entity attachment that was causing his behavioral issues. Cause I know from other stories, I could tell you that uh, negative entity attachments cause like mental illness and um, behavior problems, right? So I asked, did, did he have a negative entity attachment? I got a yes. And then my intuition said it's from uh, one of the drugs he takes, right? He's a diabetic. I don't know what other drugs he takes, but I asked Pendulum, I said, so is that is that the portal, the drugs that he takes, is that the portal for the negative entity attachment to enter? And, and I got yes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so now I know what I'm dealing with. So anyway, after dinner, he's sitting in his chair. He's got his back to me, right? And I'm hitting him with this little wand and he was back to normal. That's so cool. Yeah, and I don't even think his, I know his wife really appreciated it, but I don't think she understood the magnitude of what happened. Yeah, and that's the beauty of it. They don't have to, you know? And <laughs> A lot of people ask about the wands, you know, can, you know, what's the, what's the training with the wand? And it's very simple. I mean, it's just based through intention and um, because it's a source driven source um, powered, powered tool. Um, mm -hmm. It has its own intelligence. It knows what needs to be, you know, worked on as well, but you can certainly direct it with a command and focus in on things and certainly yeah with medications close down those dark portals um and the person has to be willing to actually stop reopening them too because there's a, there are people yeah. out there competitive issues entities and they invite it back in so i don't know um, what happened with him because i kind of stopped hanging out with them eventually but um yeah so that was the story with him and then uh my daughter had a very interesting story where she she had suffered on and off with anxiety for years. And it, probably about six months ago, it was getting so bad that she went to the doctor to get medication. And she's like me, like she wants to avoid medication at all costs. She wants to avoid doctors at all costs, right? And so the fact that she went to the doctor to get um, a medication, which she knows comes with their own side effects too, is, is to tell you how bad it was, okay, that she got to that point. Well, in the meantime, I had printed off a free hologram from Smarty's website for anxiety. So let and me she, show this. This is not ahead. anxiety one, but these are examples of the free hollows that you'll find when you go to the download site. We'll have the link below at the end of this video. You can go in the comments. And anything we've talked about today, I will have links for those um, so that you'll, you can go and check out things. But this is what it looks like. It's a small disc of um, printed on photo paper, and then we usually laminate them or whatever. But this is what she's referring to that her daughter used. Yeah, so I went on the link that Amy's going to post, and I typed in anxiety, and I got whatever matches 
whatever holograms had to do with anxiety. So I printed out one uh, on photo paper and I gave it to her and she understands about frequencies and about charging water because you can take the hologram and put it underneath your drink. And in like a minute or two, those frequencies will be in your water. And then when you drink the water, the frequencies go in your body. Well, she decided she just wanted to put the picture, the hologram right up against her stomach because that's where the uh, symptoms would manifest. And she did that and she never had to take one pill. And she waited about four-ish months <laughs> and she texted me one day recently. She's like, so mom, was that hologram from the website? Because Smarty does have some things that you can pay for that have like stronger frequencies, but he has a ton of the free ones. And the free ones are nothing to, you know, shake your head at because they work. Mm -hmm. and, and so I said to her, uh, I said, yeah, it was from the web, the website. Why? And because she knows he has paid ones too. So she was, she was basically asking, was that a free one? And I said, yeah, why? And she goes, well, because I haven't had a problem since then. Like she waited a whole like four months before she would concede that it was more than just a coincidence. Yeah, that's so, cool. And there are so many people right now um, with anxiety and with the state of the world right now, energies and fear and everything is just ramping up. And, um, and it's also a side effect of people that have had a lot of the, um, shots is that they, um, it, it amps up existing symptoms in the body. So if someone's already got a, a tendency towards anxiety or depression or something like that, then it's just going to, um, Amplify. To mm -hmm. increase. um, but Smarty has said that all along. He said that he goes, the reason I'm censored so much is because even what I have in the free downloads, can just change the whole landscape of, of healing on the planet. Um, because, and, and, you know, people don't, it's hard to fathom that, oh my gosh, something can be available to me that can make me well, that doesn't cost anything. So, um, so anyway, it's, it's exciting and awesome that she got that kind of result and yeah, perfect. Yeah. That was really, uh, cause, cause she knows who Smarty claims to be and she, She's like, Mama, are you in a cult? And I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, and, but and God source validates these experiences. That's why we can, you know, stand true to what we know because uh -huh. we're getting experiences every day that show us that something really different is going on here. So that's why it's absolutely to get this stuff out there so people can learn and know and have your own experience. You know, we're not here to convince people of anything, but we want you to know this is a resource that's available and got nothing to lose. It's free. So it's free. You know, yeah. And then so, uh, did you want me to talk about my Helix bracelet and the uh, the yes. healing that was not needed because the accident was avoided? <laughs> sure. sure. We're talking about okay. The so this is my okay. Helix bracelet and uh, Smarty said about them, don't go to sleep with it on because <clears throat> it opens portals and you could go traveling in your dream state and who knows where you'll go, right? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not ready for that. You. He's like, I don't want to go clean up your mess. So yeah, stay put. <laughs> yeah. And so, but I like the idea of having it on during my waking hours and, you know, possibly going through a portal here and there. Right. So I'm like, that is really cool. So I finally got one and I was having trouble unclasping it. And this is about a week and a half ago. And I was not wanting to go to sleep with it because of what I just said. Right. And so, and I was getting like really frustrated and I was like, can't get this off right and I want to go to sleep so I'm somebody in the group said uh if you print out the grounding hollow then that will keep you grounded when you're wearing this right so I said all right this is like 11 30 at night I'm printing out the grounding hollow to put under my pillow because I couldn't get this off and I wanted to go to sleep right and I didn't want to go astral traveling so it was a day or two later uh, and the more I remember about this, it's all like really 
kind of freaky. I was driving and I was thinking, I need a new testimony for Smarty. Like I, I haven't had one in a little while, right? And I'm driving and I came, uh, came up to something that we call it a roundabout. I don't know if you've seen those. And it's kind of like a big fountain in the middle. And so you're always supposed to yield to whoever's already in the roundabout. And I was approaching the roundabout, right? So I was looking to the right to make sure that was, in fact, the turn I wanted to make. And I knew if I looked down the street, I would recognize it and say, yeah, that's where I want to turn right. So stupid me, that was the way I wanted to turn. And I never looked left. So as I'm turning and looking left, all of a sudden, just like, boom, like right in front of me is this white SUV. I slammed on the brakes. There was no crash nothing and I, i'm and i'm looking and the guy's just going down towards the light where i was heading he wasn't flustered or anything and i looked amy and there was only about this much space between the hood of my car and the fountain now how the hell did an suv fit through that size right mm -hmm. there was no room for it to fit through so i asked daddy you know, was, uh, what, did the helix bracelet open up a portal and disappear me from the intersection? Cause he acted like he didn't even see me like there, like he wasn't flustered, nothing. Yeah. And I got a yes. I'm like, oh man, that is so cool. Right. As that happened, when I realized that I was too close to that fountain for him to have been able to pass in front of me on the radio, there was a commercial for a stupid hospital and it said, you don't plan for accidents, but we do. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, I didn't realize that till like 24. Like I, I saw the correlation when it happened, but I didn't, I didn't correlate it to not being able to get the bracelet off. Yeah. Well, you kind of called it all for because you wanted a new validation from source. I did. I really did. You had your new toy and you were I had my new toy. The <laughs> and then it was like, here's your experience, you know? So oh my gosh, it was so cool. And I, I told both my daughters and they were like, wow, that's really wild. Because you know, they understand about portals and stuff. I, I'm very fortunate both my daughters are kind of high level of consciousness, like I am. So um I was telling the story on Easter and, and their husbands were like, you know, and the other, I'm like, I'm not telling this to the whole group because they'll be like, what, you know, whatever. Right. But yeah, no, it's, it's, and it, you it know, it's remarkable to tell these stories now because I think people will start recognizing that this, this is stuff that can be manifesting for them as well. Not that we're telling you to go off planet. We're not, we're telling you to stay here right now um, and get your activation <laughs> while you're, right here in this reality. However, um, there are things like this, glitches in the matrix, stuff like that, that's starting to happen regularly for a lot of us. And it's, um, so it's just good to know that it's happening and that these tools will actually support and protect um, to a large degree, whatever you got going on. <laughs> so. Listen, I don't want to ever take this off. I ordered the new, uh, the new improved version that's about to come out. So I won't be taking this off until the new one comes and I won't take that one off either. I, because... I, sleep, with, I sleep with mine. I just have an intention that I, yeah, that I behave myself and stay. Yeah. Well. Don't go anywhere <laughs> that you don't want to be going, but yeah. Um, yeah and, so they're that... not full, and they're not fully activated yet anyway. Right. So yeah, it was really, it was a fun experience after it was all said and done. And it wasn't even that hair raising. It was just kind of like, what yeah, just happened cool. here, you know? <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yes. I love the I love the stories. So let's talk for a few more minutes before we wrap up just about right. hacks that you'd like to other people to know about that you're finding useful within the tools. Oh, okay. So um the free holograms to get uh the ink on your printer to replenish. Uh, I would recommend using that. And through a series of events, I ended up getting a printer, a new printer. So instead of buying $40 worth of ink, which I needed for another $15, I upgraded my printer. It was the same printer, just like a newer model. 
So for $15, I got a new printer. I'm sorry, $15 more, okay, than buying just ink. I got a new printer that came with nine months of free ink. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I had had the, uh, the ink hollow on my old printer. And mm -hmm. now I have free, and I still have it on the new one. And now I have free ink. And I didn't really kind of put the two and two together. Um, also with the free internet, uh, I put that on my internet router and trying to zero that bill out and something happened with my bill and they got me pissed off and I had to call customer service and I'm on hold. You know how they have those recordings when you're on hold and it was like, oh, uh, you might qualify for this customer program. Call this 800 number. Well, I did and I did qualify and now I don't pay for internet. That's like 70 bucks a month and I'm not paying for it anymore. It's not a coincidence that I had that hologram on the router and then the bill was annoyed me where I had to call because I never call that company. Mm -hmm. I had to call customer service and I had the presence of mind to actually listen to the stupid recording and say, oh, I might qualify and oh, I did qualify and oh, now I don't pay for that. So, you know, you just reminded me of something. I paid my T-Mobile bill today and I was like, the bill doesn't look right. And so I went in. And I saw they've reduced my bill by $35. It's like, when does that happen? Wow, it doesn't. So, you know, and, and we have all these tools. We're wearing them. Everything, all these millions of frequencies are in the, the charms that we have of Smarties and, and um, everything. And now we have um, um, what, what um, Patrice is talking about is a, is a free hollow. And then there's also things like these stickers. Um, so when you peruse our um, big database of holograms, you'll see that beyond the healing stuff, there are things in there like washer dryer frequencies that could save you on having to buy laundry. Oh, those things are amazing. Boy, your, your clothes come out smelling source clean. I've never smelled uh, manufactured soap that makes your clothes smell that good. Yeah. Crazy. So, so it's fun to talk about some of the household stuff because mm -hmm. some people don't even know those are, those are tucked in there and, and Smarty just keeps like coming up with other things, you know, but, um, but yeah, um, I don't have a printer right now. So it's, it's cool just to hear how it's impacting you with that. So I can share it with people that do. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the last thing I just want to share with you is, uh, so this is, a wand that um, it's a medical wand, right? But uh, a lot of us have found like creative ways to use it. So what I started doing when I drive, I kind of hold it like this, I'm holding the wheel and this is pointing out as I'm driving. And I have the intention of sending um, healing frequencies to everyone on both sides of the road, but you know, in front of me and behind me on either side and um, our new reality frequencies. And to for people to wake the fuck up because, <laughs> because a lot of people still don't know what's going on on this planet. And there's a lot of stuff going on in the spirit realm that people are not aware of. And so every time I'm driving, I have those three intentions in my mind and I'm sending out the frequencies from the, this wand. So I always leave it in the car, in the car. And then the other day, my friend and I, Matt, who also follows Smarty, were at the beach and he's like, oh, there's a chemtrail plane. And he's like, look, the uh, the trail's not sticking. And I go, yeah, you're right. It's not sticking. And I go, darn, I wish I had my wand because I've used the smaller wand before to get rid of a, a plane and the trail. Mm -hmm. Just wave it at the sky with a command, right? So Matt goes, you don't need the wand. I go, yeah, you're right. And so I just like looked at the plane and I was like, I don't even know what command I gave, but I just, you know, had the intention of getting, of erasing it, of getting rid of it. And I said, done, done, done as Smarty teaches. And then like, not even a minute later, Matt and I looked, Matt goes, man, that whole plane and the trail, everything is just gone. And he was like, I, I love having a friend as high vibe as you. <laughs> <laughs> but my point also is, you know, Smarty says that the tools are just that, a tool. It's like a bridge for you to understand your own power, right? And exactly. so when, 
when Matt said that you don't need the wand totally. Yes. I forgot. I don't, I just need my intention and the power that I have. Exactly. And so um, I pretended I had the wand, but you know, it I was just, all it was all me. I'm downtown all the time, always running into like crippled people or homeless people or whatever. And so sometimes I have my wands on me and once in a while I get caught with nothing. And so, yeah, I just do it through my own conscious intention. And um, yes, but it is, there are a lot of people that they need to know there's something going on with the tool. <laughs> it yeah. helps their um, mind to wrap their head around what's going on because they're still not even understanding what frequencies are. So, you know, my sister, she's like, I don't know. She goes, you've healed my sciatica. But she says, I don't know how you do that. And, um, and I said, well, you don't know how your cell phone works either, but you make calls every day. So That's it's, right. it's still a, it's a good analogy. You know, it's still how you're making that connection. And so you don't have to know to receive the healing, but you do need to be willing to be healed, you know? And so um, I do like, I think it was one of the recent interviews, one of the gals said she always works on people's brain and their mindset so that they're actually willing to receive whatever the healing is that we're offering. And I do a lot of anonymous healing. So I have to put yeah. that in the mix because I'm not always doing it front and center where people know that's what I'm doing. I'm actually working on people that are ill that I just find, you know, through social mm -hmm. media. Yeah, I do that too. Yeah. So, and you know, the other thing is if they have an agreement to experience that illness and, or to die from it, then they're not going to be healed and you can't take that personally and you can't, uh, you can't let that deter you. You know what I mean? It's just like, nope, we, that's, that's why we ask to make sure that that person mm -hmm. can be healed by us. And also that, um, um, you know, it is, like you said, some people, it's the soul path and they, they don't want us interfering and, and all of that. So that, that comes into play with animals a lot, as well as people. And, um, so all of these tools can work on people of any, any background, any, <laughs> any, pet, any animal out there that you see, as yeah. you heard, we, we're working on the, the environment, you know, we, we, we heal water, we heal um, the earth, you know, all kinds of stuff. So there's lots of applications. We just invite you to step into this wherever you feel yes. comfortable, play with some of the free tools. Um, if you're interested in the wands or anything else, we'll have the links below where you can learn a little bit more and, and see, we often have, um, Smarty often has sales. So if you need it to, he has one coming up probably in a yeah. couple of days, depending on when you, uh, launch this. Yeah. And if you're they watching this, um, later, you know, just one, just check in with whoever invited you on. And there's usually something coming up that will support you in getting a good deal. So always wait for one of his sales. They're usually once a month, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. usually around the 15th or so he'll do yep. something. Um, yeah. And in this usually some significant savings. So yes, um, it is. So those are, those are um, always available um, to all of you. And we hope you um, learned a few things today about some ways you can apply using uh, the holotech tools you can also always ask for healing at the Jedi thread that's on Telegram. Or if you know us personally, you can reach out to us um, uh, personally and we're happy to um, work on you or provide healing. So just know that's Absolutely. available um, through any Jedi actually, um, as well as Smarty. So, um, mm -hmm. well, I just wanna thank you, Patrice. This has been lovely just to- Thanks, Amy learn a little bit more about what you're doing with the tools. And I look forward My pleasure. to talking to you more in the future. And absolutely well, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to our channel so we can keep getting this out to new faces. So yes, share it with your friends and family. All right. Have a good day. Thanks, Amy. Bye.